Hello, beautiful people. My name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today, I have hopefully a quick little life update because I have been MIA for a little bit. And I, I don't know that it's a valid excuse, but sometimes people like to know. And a couple people have asked and reached out and I really appreciate that. I feel like this is a awesome community. If you don't care about the quick update, just scroll ahead until I hold up the box with all the Brandon Sanderson goodness and I will be unboxing and catching up on my mail because I have two months of boxes um, plus a quick book review. So uh, my life update is that I reported the last life update that I was having chronic migraines and having some health issues that was really taking my focus and energy away from my reading and my booktube. And it turns out that my house that we moved into less than two years ago was not built properly and the HVAC system in particular had not been installed and hooked up correctly. And as a result of that, the insulation and all of the debris and particles in the attic were being sucked continuously into our HVAC system and sprayed through and distributed throughout all of our house. And it was causing my husband and I both to have a lot of health issues. Uh, there is a lot of legal mess. There is a lot of complications of trying to repair it. There is not just one person or one company that kind of comes in and does everything that is wrong with the house to fix it. So it is a multi-step, multi-process, and some of it is very urgent because of health issues. And of course, nothing is very quick. So it has been a long time and my house is not in a state where I can even film at it. I am at work trying to film this. So it's a weird angle, weird lighting. I get it, but I just wanted to put a couple things out there. I have fortunately been getting some reading done and I would love to get my reviews posted this weekend. So do not fear, more book reviews are coming this weekend and I hope that you will tune in and join me for those. In the meantime, my current read that I'm almost d completed is a Brandon Sanderson star site. This is a sequel to Skyward. So if you are not familiar with that, I will give it, I will talk about the whole series, both series. It is written for young adults and I don't think that you have to be a young adult to enjoy it. It's just great that you know it has that context so that if you're looking for a recommendation for a younger reader to start reading Brandon Sanderson this is actually a really great place to start and it is the story of a young girl who is human and also uh, cytonic like able to process things and has a sixth sense kind of ability to communicate with the stars in the universe and it is set on another planet where humans are kind of being held captive and trapped because there's a lot of intergalactic kind of forces and wars and you are trying to figure out all these things that are going on she becomes a starship pilot and so it's her adventures and it's just fun lots of witty dialogue a very nice summer read not very intensive or heavy or hardcore any of those kind of things a lot of the Brandon Sanderson humor and quirks and it's it's not that you have to think a lot or process a lot like in some of his books there's multiple storylines and multiple characters and things that you have to figure out and that's not so much in this one so it doesn't give you kind of the full flavor of the typical Brandon Sanderson world building multi-layer saga, but as far as his humor, his characters, and just a fun ride, and this does have a little, a little romance, but not heavy on it. It does have a lot of kind of sci-fi adventure space fun themes. So there is that. I would say, um, what was the, the other middle grade one that was real popular recently, a Rover story. If you like that, you would definitely, definitely like Star Sight. So I have two boxes. This is the Yumi one. This one should have a book in it. And this one, Cell, this is based off of the planet in the Cosmere that had the uh, Emperor's Soul as well as the 
Elantris, which I have reviews for those. I can link below because I've read both of those recently. So let's see what we got. So, looks like this. I tried to angle down so y'all could see into my boxes. So here. Spoiler warning, the planet cell, Elantris, the Rose Empire. I'm not sure what the Rose Empire is. Okay, so Elantra fix bandages. Oh, that's funny. Elantra fix and it's a little first aid tin. Uh, dragon steel, what is this? Ink seals, I'm just gonna open. We're just gonna open because I'm not trying to preserve and save. I'm just trying to enjoy life. Can you hear that? I don't want to hurt the box though. Oh, oh, they're like little, little magnet discs. Look at my bruise on my thumb. I like slammed my finger in a cabinet. Those are very cute. So I will probably put those on my metal um, filing cabinet <laughs> and it's a cute box and then here is another Cosmere pen uh, Rayadin and oh gosh why do they make it so hard to open so bandage tins the Aeon magnets Impersol wax and ink seals. This must be that. Yes, look at that. That's pretty cool. So wax. That's pretty cool. I might actually have to like do that with my Christmas letters. And then what is this? I got the character pen, the badges, the magnets, and the ink seals. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's, it's an actual ink pad and a rubber stamp. Hmm. All right. So <laughs> I'm going to have to get more people's addresses so I can send actual letters out, right? I liked it. I want to see if there's a book. and then do. Okay. You see how it's, even the paper's like dragons? All right. Uh, Shalon. Shalon. Nice. So, here is a Yumi sticker. This is a new character. Here's a bookmark. Artwork from this story. Beautiful. Yumi and the Nightmare Painter. I have not read this one. I can do a free ebook and a free audio book, but I'm behind. Okay. Very nice. Oh, there's actually a few. It's all pink and blue. Hence probably the seal, right? And then there's some beautiful full color artwork in this one too. Oh, wow. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. 
How wonderful will it be to read this book with that extra artwork? Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I'm kind of glad I didn't download the audio and just listen to it because now I can actually see it. And it looks very Japanese inspired. It looks like, I mean, Yumi's kind of the Japanese sounding name too, isn't it? I don't really know much about the story though. So, but look how pretty she is. So I really look forward to this adventure. It says a person is more than, than their experiences stacked up like stones. Our best moments are the foundations we use to reach for the sky. And there's the pink and the blue foil. So I look forward to reading this as soon as I can. And that is my updates. I'm going to work really hard to fix my house within the next month and then move back into a normal routine of filming and reading and life and all that kind of stuff. And think that will significantly clear up my migraines, if not completely fix them. So I thank you for, again, all those who reached out, for all those who have returned. If you are new and ready to go on this adventure with me of book reviews, like, subscribe, come along. I will be posting reviews. I've, I, Even though I haven't posted, I have read some really fantastic books I'm really excited to share with you. So stay tuned this weekend for some book reviews. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. What have you been reading? How was your summer? Hope that I will see you again soon. Y'all take care. Happy reading.